Hello YouTube, this is Nihon805 and I am back bringing you another Japanese food review. It has been a long time since I've done the video. It has been, uh, I, che I checked actually, it's been almost six months um, really since my last video. Um, and the reason why was because I went back to school actually. Um, before I left for Japan, I actually started grad school and I thought, you know, I had one more class left and I thought, I can finish it here, do it online, bust it out, and hey, I just finished uh, not that long ago, so I have lots more free time because literally, uh, while school was in session, I only worked, and uh, I went to work, came home, ate, worked on homework, slept, and I pretty much did that throughout the whole work week. So by the time the weekend got here, um, I, was, I was pretty tired, and uh, uh, yeah. It was pretty rough, but it's done, and I hope so I can start bringing out more videos more regularly. Um, but anyways, what do I have tonight? For the big return, I have something actually probably fairly standard, but um, something also um, very uniquely Japanese and something that I think a lot of people, if they came to Japan, is something that is uh, a food that they would be comfortable trying. Um, and that would be the uh, Lawson. Lawson. This is the roast milfu katsu sandwich. Um, 324 yen, so about three dollars. And um, what is it exactly? Well, <clears throat> uh, I'm sure many people know what katsu is, either from a Japanese restaurant or maybe they go to Hawaiian barbecue and they get katsu. It's basically just your fried meat. Um, it's breaded meat, fried, and um, that's what this is. Um, Plus, uh, usually I don't. Um, usually they have sauce, and this one does have sauce, and it also usually has cabbage, which I think they have cabbage. I've actually had this uh, once or twice before, um, not as many times as people might think I would eat these things. But um, it's been a while, so I thought I'd do a review on it. Um, I already heated it up. Um, you do, you can eat these cold, but um, I think it's probably worth warm me up with a 45 seconds that it tells you to. Um, so let me open this up. And it's still hot. It's still hot. And um, yeah, katsu sandwiches are pretty common in Japan. Um, you can buy them virtually anywhere. Um, you can even buy them on the on the Shinkansen. Um, many, many places have katsu sandwiches. And um, they're usually fairly cheap. And they're, whoa, this is hot. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. That is hot. You can see the steam on that, and yeah, it, sm it smells good. Um, let me take, there's two of them. It's actually, it's one sandwich, but there's two slices of the court. There's uh, two halves, and wow, that's hot to the touch. Woo! Um, and normally, katsu sandwich, if it's a, if it's a high class one, it, it's usually a single piece of meat. Um, but this is, of course, it's, it's, usually, it's usually pork. It can be chicken. Um, traditionally it's pork, um, but this is not the, the classy, uh, authentic version. This is called, they call it the milfew, which is just, milfew is just, you know, a, a umbrella term for it. it's, it's probably been processed. It is pork on the back. It does say, it does say pork on it. So, uh, tonkatsu. So it should be, it is pork, I'm assuming, but it is, it's not. It's not a single piece. It is, um, if you look there, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you can see layers of, of, of the meat, which is just not normal, uh, not what not standard in what a regular, a real katsu sandwich would, would be like if you got it from a restaurant or something. But anyways, um, yeah, let me open this up for you. Um, as you can see, there is sauce, and this is like your standard uh, tonkatsu sauce. Um, if I had to describe that, it, it's kind of like, really thick war, um, Worcestershire. Yeah, I'm not going to say that word. I'm not even going to try to say that. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's that W sauce. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't see, this one does not have cabbage, which is a little bit unfortunate because they normally do. But anyways, smells good. It, 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 it's hot still. So let me give this a shot again. Again, I haven't had this in a while. So um, let me try it.
yeah. Um, uh, it's a good little snack. Um, it's a quick lunch. Um, it, it's filling because it is it is meat. It is a <clears throat> it is legitimate meat, even though it's been processed, of course. Um, it's hot sandwich. Um, you know, you can get a lot of cold sandwiches in Japan, but um, <clears throat> this be a hot one. It's nice. Um, flavor is good. Sauce is nice. I do wish it had cabbage, but I understand why they did not put cabbage on it. Um, probably would not work so well in the microwave. It would have lost all its, its crispy, uh, its crunchy uh, texture. But it is good still. Um, and mm, it's a little bit expensive um, for, a, for a convenience store sandwich, maybe. 300 uh, with tax, 350 yen, it says. Um, but um, pretty common to see. They always have them in stock. I never... I rarely go there and not see them having any of these things. Um, let me try one more bite. Yeah, um, decent sandwich, nothing special. Um, it probably tastes like any other this is from Lawson, but I'm sure you could go to any other, I, I know you can go to any other convenience store and pick up something similar that tastes similar and probably for a similar price. Um, and for that reason, I got to give it, as far as the rain goes, I got to give it maybe just just in the middle of the road, just um, uh, two, two and a half out of five is a little bit on the low side. I, I it, it is... It is better than, you know what? I will give it two out two point five out of five stars. Um, it's not good. It's not great, but it's not bad. Definitely not bad. I, I eat these again, but um, for three hundred fifty yen, you could go to a, a, a sukiya or a yoshinoya and get like a <clears throat> a regular size beef bowl, and I'd say that's probably the better deal overall, both uh, price wise and taste wise. So for that reason, unless you're you're in a hurry, which people in Japan they, they, it's it's common to just to grab something out of a convenience store and run and get it get it out and just eat it quickly. So for that reason, yeah, it's it's good, but mm, I wouldn't eat. I I haven't eaten too many of these things, and I probably won't continue to. But again, two point five out of five stars from Lawson's and about three hundred fifty yen with tax. So until next time, this is Nihon eight hundred five, and I will talk to you later.